Hi everybody, uh, greetings from Minneapolis where I'm attending the International Writing Across the Curriculum Conference this week and uh, in this video I would like to summarize my impressions of uh, your um, editing conventions report first draft as well as of the peer review comments that you posted for each other. Um, I, I think most of you are off to a usable good start on this report and um, also the comments you received from your classmates and from myself should enable you to revise effectively and productively for the next version. As I mentioned yesterday in my email, it is extremely important uh, for us not to get bogged down in uh, correcting each other's grammar, each other's mechanics, um, and to focus instead on um, what we call global concerns, concerns of meaning, concerns of development, concerns of claims, evidence, and so on. The reason for this is that obviously um, this being a first draft, if you revise properly, you will end up changing much of the language between the first draft and the second one and the final one. And so if you, uh, as a reviewer, get um, too bogged down in correcting mechanics and uh, pointing out comma splices and such, you're wasting your time, you're wasting the writer's time because it will change the language from this draft to the next and um, your commentary will not be very useful and very successful. The reason I asked you to read Strobe's article before the peer review session, um, and I hope you read it and uh, followed his advice, is because Strobe explicitly states that um, when you conduct a peer review with someone else for someone else, your role is not that of an editor. Your job is not to correct the other person. Your job is certainly not to insert your own language into their draft or tell them to change the language. Your job is to ask questions and uh, provide um, kind of a sounding board type feedback, being a reader, being um, uh, a pair of uh, ears, a pair of hands uh, that would allow the writer to um, have his or her ideas heard by someone else and then improve. And so uh, this is the mindset we need to have when we do these peer review sessions. Learning how to peer review is a very important uh, part, important aspect of learning how to be a writer and how to be an editor. And so um, we're going to continue doing the sessions throughout the semester here and there. And I would like you to uh, keep that mindset in mind when you peer review each other's drafts.